Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will learn about the 10 must know Excel shortcut keys. Let's start. First, control page up and page down to toggle between sheets. Suppose you're working in a workbook which has multiple worksheets and you wish to toggle either from left to right or from right to left. In that case, press control page down. Notice how it toggles between one sheet to the next. If you wish to go back, press control page up. So if you're sitting idle and getting bored, you can do that all day long. So after control page up, page down, we move to the next shortcut key. That is control and the arrow keys. It allows you to navigate between the data set. Suppose your cursor is on DOJ and you wish to navigate all the way to the last cell age. From there, you wish to scroll down and possibly reach to the last very end of the data set. To do so, let's start from the cell containing DOJ, press control right arrow key, control down. It stops where there is a blank cell. You can keep pressing control down arrow key to jump over and keep navigating across the work data. Similarly, control up will take you to the top and if there's a space, it stops. You keep pressing control up until you reach to the header. So that was a shortcut key control arrow. Next, we will now see how do you choose the data set from a given table. We'll be using control shift and the arrow keys. Now a lot of people tell me, why don't we choose a cell and press control A? Well, you can do that, but control A will not let you choose the entire data set if there's a blank space. So you start from DOJ, then press control shift, keep it pressed, and then click on the right arrow key. It chooses the entire header in our case. Next, keep control shift pressed and then down. This way you can keep moving downwards and keep selecting your data. By any chance, if you took any extra selection, you can still go back by pressing control shift up arrow key. Now at this point, you might ask me how to go to the top of the data set without using the scroll bar option, which is a manual method. Well, in that case, press control backspace key. There's a high probability that you would not have known this, right? So let me show this very quickly again. Shift control right, shift control down, shift control down until you reach to the last end of the data set. Then control backspace key. So after having learned the use of control shift arrow keys, we also learned about the utility of control backspace key. Next, control spacebar to choose the entire column and shift spacebar to choose the entire row. Let me show a demo. Suppose you're in cell G9. If you press shift spacebar, it chooses the entire row. And if you choose control spacebar as a shortcut key, it chooses the entire column. By themselves, these two shortcut keys are not that useful until you combine them with control minus to delete or control shift plus to add rows or columns. Let me give you a demo. Suppose you wish to delete the dummy column, right? So I keep a cell from the dummy column chosen. Then I press control spacebar and then I will be pressing control minus. Noticed the entire column got deleted. Similarly, if you wish to delete row number nine, one of the cells of row number nine should be chosen. Then you press shift spacebar and then control minus. Now, if you wish to add a column before a base salary, then you choose the entire column using control spacebar. And after doing that, press control shift plus. See how easily you were able to add a column. Trust me, when people start looking at your screen, especially how fast you are navigating with the shortcut keys, that's a different respect. So do practice all these. So after seeing the utility of control spacebar, shift spacebar, and then followed by control minus and control shift plus, we will now move to the next shortcut key, which is one of my favorite shortcuts. That is control backtick key to show off all the formulas of the current worksheet. Now in column D where I see bonus one, I see a calculation being done. Each of these people have been given a certain percentage of bonus based on the base salary. 
Now, there are so many formulas and I wish to see all of them in one single instance. Then you press that shortcut key, control and backtick key. Notice how easily you're able to see all the formula. So this shortcut key will reveal all the formulas of the current worksheet wherever they are. You can press the same shortcut key to go back to the previous state. People working with financial models and costing calculation sheets would love this. Next, Alt E S to activate paste special. So if you have copied the data and you wish to do a paste special, then Alt followed by the letter E and then S. This will give you access to paste special box, which has many more other options. The most popular ones are values, formats and transpose. So for example, in this current column of bonus calculation, if the column C or the base salary gets deleted, the entire bonus computation will become zero. Now I don't want that. I want these values to be pasted as a standalone value, which are not dependent on any formula. So what I do, I copy a sample bonus calculation, control C, I go to the next cell of column E, then I press Alt, then letter E, the letter S. So it's Alt Elephant Sun. Now do not try to press all these keys at the same time. You have to press this one at a time. Alt E S. Now within Paste Special, you'll see each options being underlined by a letter. For example, for values, the letter underline is V. So after pressing Alt E S and activating Paste Special, I'll be pressing the letter V to activate values option. And then I'll press enter. Now, even if I delete the base salary, look at the bonus too. This does not become zero. Reason? Because they have been converted to a proper value compared to bonus one, which was based on a calculation. So that was Alt E S to activate pay special and then using V for value, T for formats and E for transpose. Of course, pressing enter after that. So I hope you got a sense of all the 10 must know Excel shortcut keys. I'm keeping all the shortcut keys on the screen so that you can pause the video and revise all of them.